You guys send me hundreds of videos every day, and for some reason you guys really like disgusting videos. So we found some of the craziest videos from across the web, and we're gonna go ahead and get into them and see exactly what's so weird about them. All right, what do we got there? The tooth has turned to color because the nerve is dead. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So you see what she's talking about is this, see this grayness right here? So if you're a kid and you hit your head on something or you fall off a bike, it may seem completely normal. At any point in time between that hit and even like 10 years, your nerve can just die on you. It can just die on you. And when it dies, the ins the nerve is obviously inside the tooth, so it'll actually discolor the tooth. And a lot of time, this is what a dead tooth looks like. If you can see, it turns the whole entire tooth like gray. And so this looks like it's the start of that death of that tooth. But eventually, this whole tooth will turn that gray color. The patient has gum disease and is ready to start treatment. Wow! Oh, so that wasn't even like, that is actually calculus over the top of this. And the calculus really, it, it likes to attach to roots. It doesn't like to attach to the clean enamel structure. That's why you see it up here in between stuff. So this is what happens when you don't brush or floss. It'll eat away at the bone and the gum tissue and just drop, 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 drop until the seat just fall right out. We tell you to floss for a reason, okay? Because flossing is the number one reason this happens, not brushing. And you can just see them like removing it. So underneath, there's a healthy tooth underneath there, just with some bone loss. Everybody has issues with this. Even I get calculus between my teeth down there but that's why you go to your cleanings every six months patient i want teeth you sure about that? You sure about <laughs> we get this all the time and it's like i mean it blows my mind that like that's the first thing really like you come in and that's the first thing you see whenever you're looking at me yeah of course you want teeth whitening but how am i supposed to whiten your teeth whenever you got nasty gunk all over it, it looks like you haven't even brushed your teeth in 20 years you got food stuck in there you got heavy red you know gingivitis going on absolutely not so if people want whining and this happens a ton we basically have to tell them like no you have to go to a dentist you have to get your cleaning you have to get knee cavities filled and then after you take care of all the basic necessities of your teeth then you can get whitening all right patient okay so that's what i was talking about this is crazy so whenever the these things drop eventually they get lower and lower and lower until there's nothing holding in the tooth and then it's just it's super wiggly like that i mean look at that that's insane and so eventually they will just literally fall out of your mouth wow same this is is this the same person literally the easiest way to pull out teeth ever you just breathe and they fall out that's crazy i don't know why you guys like these videos so much they're disgusting okay let's see so what happens if you vape so dry mouth yeah that definitely occurs and nicotine you know not only will cause xerostomia or basically dry mouth it'll also cause your breath to stink as well because it's dry let's see what else we got stained teeth yes i used to think vape didn't stain your teeth but it turns out it's not the smoke from smoking or the tobacco, it's actually nicotine. So nicotine mixes with the saliva in your mouth and stains your teeth. Risk of dumb, gum disease, that's another true one. Risk of cavities, and that the reason why the, it's risk of cavities here is because you dry out your mouth, and your saliva in your mouth is almost like a mouthwash. It's like a personal mouthwash that's washing your teeth all day long. And if you dry that up, same with mouth breathers, then you can get cavities easier. Premature wrinkles. Actually, the premature wrinkles is true too because you always do this and smoke them. And so you can get wrinkles in this area. That's why if you ever see a smoker and they do this a lot, they have all the super wrinkly area right there. It's true. True story. All right, let's see. Do I need a denture? Yes, you need a denture. What is up with these floppy whoppy teeth? I'm tired of looking at them. Jeez wheeze, man. Holy moly. I'm going to skip past that one. I'm tired of looking at this. That's gross. Teeth shifted due to gum disease. Dude, talk about a giant gap there. My man's got a gap you could drive through. He also has severe periodontal gum disease. I don't I don't really understand that part. So they said that his teeth shifted and drifted open due to gum disease. I don't think that that's necessarily going to happen. I think he just, just ugh. clean your teeth. Just clean them. Okay. Public service announcement. Okay. So this stuff saved my receding gums. Let's see. By the way, before we get into what she says, receding gums are basically you can't. You really can't fix them. Once they've receded back, that means the bone has dissolved from that level, and so the gum has dropped. So unless you get a gum graft or bone added back, you really can't. So I'm interested to see what she says here. My gums are receding so much that if they receded like anymore. Her gums don't look very receded at all. I'm looking at it here, it looks really normal. I mean, I may see maybe a tiny, tiny bit, but those look perfectly normal to me. Uh, if they receded like anymore, but I was gonna have to get a gum graft surgery, where they take like okay. a skin from the roof of your mouth and put it over your gums. Also, fun fact, gum recession can be caused from orthodontics and stuff. But so maybe she had braces. And I didn't even know this should be. Revitalizes gums by reversing early damage, but it's not necessarily something that's going, it's enamel reversing. I don't, 
you can't really revert. I mean, maybe early damage, like if you're getting like, if you're brushing too hard, if it's due to not brushing your teeth and the infected bone is dropped, you can't reverse that no matter what you do. But it has literally helped my gums grow back so much. So if you have receding gums and want to avoid thousands of dollars of- I'm gonna do a quick, quick Google search here. How does Colgate gum renewal reverse gum damage. The Renewal toothpaste contains a formula that helps reverse early gum damage. Renewal is patented as the use of an active ingredient, stannous fluoride, stabilized with inactivated zinc phosphate system to fight bacteria for gums that are healthy and revitalized. So what does that mean? It just means it's like any other toothpaste. I, they just kind of made up some uh, magic terms about it. There's a lot of uh, different toothpaste that have stannous fluoride and zinc phosphates and things like that. It basically just cleans your teeth. It gets rid of the bacteria and allows those gums to grow back. So, oh my gosh, that was not what I was expecting to see. Holy moly, my man's got all of his teeth are gone. He's got one little tooth down here. Now this can happen for a couple reasons. I'm mostly just probably decayed and just absolutely fractured off. It can happen from acid erosion too, if somebody has a lot of, you know, GERD or gastrointestinal reflux disease over time, but that wouldn't explain this one being here. So more than likely, he just didn't take care of his teeth. They all rotted out and then completely just broke off. Wow, how do you eat with that? That's crazy. You still got a couple up top and then no, oh, the top ones are just as bad. Basically, they would have to extract all these different roots and put in some dentures, some partial dentures is more likely what they would have to do in this case. But that's probably the worst I've ever seen. I've never seen somebody just let them all just stay, the roots just stay in there like that. That's crazy. Oh my gosh, what the heck, man? That man just flopped that thing out of nowhere. What? What is that? That's crazy. So we've talked about how gums can overgrow. They're basically like amoeba, you know? They just basically, they find bacteria and they just kind of grow up on over it. This is a very big papilla that has grown up. The papilla is what goes between there. And holy moly, it is overgrown there. Oh! oh my gosh, there's the hole in there. Don't look at it, don't look at it, don't look at it. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. So to get rid of that, he'll have to do some gum lasering. That's wild. That is the biggest, oh man. You know he, when he lifted that thing up, the smells that came out of that were just like, huh? <laughs> Have you ever gotten your teeth clean and wondered how the yeah. hygienist or dentist knows that you're clenching your teeth? Well, I'll show you one way. I've got a little lichen planus you there. See that line that goes all the way across this Linea person. alba. So basically you're just biting down and you're kind of sucking in and biting down. And then eventually that happens. I have it. It's called linea alba and it's- Ooh, he got it right. It's almost like he's a dentist. Like he knows his stuff. Anyways, you know, I'm not patting myself on the back, but I am pretty smart. Which is why you should trust our products from something nice. Obviously, because I also made these and I'm also a dentist that looked at all these products and made sure they were perfect just for you. Literally, they're the best products on the market. Go check them out. Let's get back. One of the ways we could tell that you've okay. cut your teeth. Right now, you can it's run true. your tongue across your cheek, and if you feel a line that goes uh -huh. all the way across, you probably clench your teeth. Definitely. I definitely do, and it's probably because you guys stress me out so much. Oh, the old crack, I'm a lack. What toasted bread does to a tooth with root canal treatment. So that's interesting to think of, and a lot of people don't know this, is, is not only can ice and stuff break your tooth like this, or biting on things, or, any, or jaw breakers, or anything like that, but if you have a filling, right? If you already have a big filling in the middle of your teeth, or a root canal, or anything like that, it weakens the internal structure of your teeth. So you really can't eat super hard things on a dead tooth, and that's basically what happened there. You're just gonna twist that bad boy and just get it right out of that. Thank you for blurring that. I appreciate it. I'm tired of looking at this disgusting stuff. Oh, you know, that's crazy because I've never seen such a good video. I mean, I've, I've, I've been trying to talk to you guys about this, but I haven't had a good picture yet to kind of show exactly what it looks like. And this is it. So this is a Melogenesis Imperfecta. And this is basically where your enamel has not grown very good. And enamel is kind of that clear outer shell of your tooth. And a lot of the times it'll just chip off and fall right off. You can see he's already got some chips and stuff there. It's really tough. It sucks. This is what happens to the mouth of a smoker. Stay oh in my gosh. Risk of cavities, yeah. Risk of gum disease, and you can see that coated tongue that should be scraped. Oh, teach him. Tell him. Look at this. I mean, not only that, but he's got a cavity in the back. You know that breath rocks. Black stain here on the back of the teeth from the nicotine everywhere. Tongue. Gross. Also, you can have this thing called nicotinic stomatitis. This is what it looks like. Let's see if let's see if Zims can find a picture of this. But it's basically these little red dots all in the back of your throat, and it's from the smoke. So if you're trying to tell me you don't smoke, we know. It's pretty obvious. Oh, there we go. And we're back to just some massive calculus there. <laughs> I feel you, man. <laughs> I feel you, man. <laughs> 
correct, but you can floss correctly. I'll show you with one of my something nice floss picks. Where's the, where are they at? And these are coated in xylitol, so they actually are perfect for cleaning in between your teeth. But anyways, you'll go up, you know, and when you pop through, yeah, you're not sure to just go in and out, all right? You wanna actually go to one side, pull it across, and then go up and down, pull it to the other side, go up and across, and then you can even kind of do a 45, you know, in there, and get all the way around. And if you do that, you can use a floss pick for anything. You don't need to use regular floss, so. I'm assuming they're gonna teach you how to like actually curl it. So see how they're pulling it to that side, and then they're pulling it to the other side. And they are right. If you notice these little bleeding spots here, that shows you've got active infection in between your teeth. And so you wanna make sure that if you see this, that is a good sign. That means that you're getting the bacteria out. So do not stop, continue doing what you're gonna do. And in a couple days of you doing it, that will not happen anymore. But you can definitely do it with a floss pick. I've definitely seen this one multiple times. This is like one of them ASMR kits you would get in the mail, you know, like the poppets or the cleaners or whatever. It's like, imagine if I sent you some tartar cleaning kits in the mail where you like cleaned off the tart that's a, that's a million dollar idea right there i need to work on that all right let's see what we got here gum disease periodontitis this is a gum disease a serious gum infection that damages soft tissue yes so i mean we got more wiggly tooth what is up with this wiggly teeth obsession that you guys have today nothing but wiggly teeth okay obviously weird ah yes oh my gosh what the heck what did i just experience first off this guy's weird and obviously he doesn't care about his teeth as we can tell but this right here is not real. This is fake. Even though I don't really think her teeth look that great. She got some staining in between and all that type of stuff. This is just, it's just glue. It's basically the tooth colored glue that we hook onto your teeth. And if you don't prep the tooth or, you know, put the etch and all that type of stuff on it, it'll just pop right off. And so that's what she did. She just put it up there to make you look like she had some stuff. And then she popped it off with her fingernail to make you think something was nasty when it isn't. But this guy, this guy's nasty. Yeah, that's gross. I'm moving on. This patient needed deep cleaning. If your gum looks red, puffy, true. and bleeds when you brush or floss, that is the sign of gum infection. Yeah, I mean, this one's not too bad. We got some puffy gums. We do have the gingivitis, but we're not seeing severe gum loss yet, which means it's probably a younger patient. We do have some black calculus or black triangle forming there, but as long as she gets this clean, this is definitely savable here. Um, there is still a chance. It, oh, why you just gotta jam it in there like that? I mean, calculus is like concrete. It's not just gonna come off. But these scalers, man, cleaning and stuff, so fun. I've always had bad teeth. I okay. was in the dentist with... Oh! 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 I thought those were hot Cheetos! Or Cheez-Its! How? What? I'm so confused. Your lower tooth is all the way up into your center tooth. What the heck? The, your eyes are the same color of your teeth. Holy moly! Um, when I was growing up, like, all the time. That's crazy! What? <laughs> How do you eat? That is sad though, because I know that a lot of these people have issues like this, and inside they have a lot of insecurities. And the people have a reaction like I do. It's not, I'm not having that reaction because I think she's a bad person. It's just shocking to see, you know? And so they don't smile, they don't do a bunch of things. So luckily this doctor's probably helping them out and getting things fixed. So let's see. So obviously they got to pull out all the teeth, and then look at that. They basically are probably dentures more than likely because she didn't have any tooth left. So they probably just pulled everything out. These are the immediate dentures, and that's kind of the final thing of what they look like. Hey, but you know what? She's a FedEx driver, so you know she's making that bank now, so she can afford it. So that's the before to the after. Man, dude, and they say dentists don't change lives. I think we do, okay? I think we do. I think that's proven it right here. All right, we got a cavity filling here. This is obviously, this is a fake tooth. Well, it's a real tooth. This is a real tooth and a fake mouth that they're practicing on. So cleaning it all up looks way better. They're going through and just cleaning the edges here, putting in the etching gel. Okay, we're cleaning up. The primer goes in next, and then we're filling in the holes, lighting it by pieces. And you have to light it in small pieces. You can't just do a big chunk because it will shrink and clamp down and then uh, ruin the filling. You'll see him do it probably in layers more than likely. This guy's pretty good. And this is a really fun thing too. I know that you guys have probably seen recently the whole thing about like dentistry is basically arts and crafts. This is why. Cause it is kind of like arts and crafts and this guy's whoever this guy is is pretty good at his craft because that tooth looks really good Ooh, this is actually true this is hyperdontia but this was a weird one it was like a cleft palate and then it ended up like two jaws in one this person has like two jaws it's yeah it's weird but yeah Normal that's pretty people crazy have 30 to teeth that's true she has 40. look like she had more than 40 geez chilling everywhere you know what else i need 40 of 40 000 likes comments subscriptions all that type of stuff and also make sure to go check 
check out something nice. The best oral care company on the planet. We also have water flossers, toothbrushes. We're working on toothpaste. I promise you, you won't regret it. Until then, watch this next video. I think you're really going to enjoy it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.